Lake Erie is no stranger to algae blooms this time of year. Not too long ago, the problem poisoned drinking water for more than 400,000 people in Toledo, Ohio. The problem is also spreading to smaller lakes here in western New York, like Java Lake in Wyoming County. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Allie Tui is just back from Arcade with a closer look at what's going on. I love it here. Noble Corpse made a lot of memories here on Java Lake in Arcade. This is natural, this is beautiful, this is what I come down here for. The 19-year-old has been coming here for as long as he can remember. He says harmful algal blooms have plagued the lake for years, this year included, and he doesn't let it stop him from going for a swim. I've never been sick from the water. It's a lake, you come here to swim. It's a natural lake, I mean, that's been lost in the world. Here's an example of the harmful blooms we're talking about here. It looks similar to spilled paint or pea soup or even kind of a bubbling scum like you see here. And experts say you should avoid contact if you see it. Otherwise, contact can result in a skin rash or stomach irritation. Last week, algal blooms were also detected in Chautauqua Lake in Chautauqua County. But the New York State DEC says the blooms haven't been found in any other lakes in the area. That includes Lake Erie, where it has never been detected on New York shoreline since the DEC began tracking the data in 2012. Although reps say the harmful blooms are possible there. Certain weather conditions like hot days, calm weather, uh, you know, very not non-windy days are conditions where you're most likely to see a bloom appear. And once present, the DEC says they typically go away on their own as temperatures cool or it rains. Now, the DEC doesn't post any warning signs if the harmful blooms are detected. Instead, it relies on its website to inform the public. For more information, log on to WKBW.com. In Arcade, Wyoming County, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.